Hey Seeker, welcome back to the Existential Shift. Let's touch base on Scorpio's love life. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, this is timeless whenever you're guided to watch this, if it triggers you or inspires you or resonates with you, take it. If not, watch your other placements or just enjoy the entertainment. You do you, boo. All right, I'm working with the Rider Waite. Clear and accurate guidance and messages, please, for my Scorpio seekers. What does Scorpio need to know for their love life? What is happening for Scorpio for love? Ooh, we have a flipper. Flippers. Page of Cups and the Chariot. Sorry, I'm just, it's interesting, like, there's all kinds of stuff coming up from this duo. Ace of Swords. There is something that you want, Scorpio. And it's like, you know who you want and you know how to get it. You're like, I'm going to say this, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to do this, and that way... It will work. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Scorpio, you are... <laughs> okay, you're planning on completely changing your love life. You're like, you know what? This has... I have a certain vision of what my ideal love should be like. And everything that the universe just brought for me until now is just not cutting it. And it's almost like you're expressing to the universe in, in a very like decisive manifestation uh, vibe what it is that you're willing. Willing not like wanting, but, but, but creating. Willing. Um, what it is that you're willing to do. And you're just telling the universe this is what I want, this is who I want, or this is who I want to be, bring it. Scorpio, you're being very Scorpionic right now, you're being very intense, um, very emotionally expressive with the universe. Um, sorry, oh my god, too many cards. Six of Swords, right after the Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups. The Lovers. Five of Swords. The Fool. Okay, all right. I'm trying to think if it rings a bell with your um, general tarot scope for the month of August that I did for you guys. Scorpio, you're obviously facing a choice this time frame. I think you are very decisive about what it is now that you want. And you're realizing that there are a lot of things you need to leave behind. Exes situationships, um, things that haven't been fully satisfying for you, that have been partial, that you constantly experienced for a little bit and then had to leave. And you're like, you know what universe, I've had my share of lessons, karmic situations, I want to be free of all of that. I want to have a clean slate with my karma, with my energy. I want to clear out everything that isn't giving me what I want and what I need and what I deserve. And I want to take a leap of faith of having a new heart set to manifest a new type of love. 
it's like you really desire the freedom to completely immerse yourself in love with someone without without needing to think is it right is it not right is it true is it not true you want to experience this completeness the something that is like so complete and wholesome it doesn't require planning or thinking you just want to experience something like magical and intense and that feels destined and you're just really tired of nonsense um and it's like you're you're in and you're you're just telling you're not asking the universe you're just telling it you're like okay okay maybe i wasn't clear scorpio here um yeah this what you're doing is not working so let's 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 rewrite the stars hey let's uh let's rewire the wheels of Hannah. what you're bringing in i don't know a little bit shady do i need to go up there scorpio's like do i need to go up there and 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 explain to you how how you should do it for me like you're like talking to god to the divine i don't know i don't want I'm, I'm not in i'm not in the middle yeah, having your conversations with your own higher self and with god god is spirit universe multiverse whatever and you're like It seems like, though, that the universe is using me to kind of smirk at you and be like, oh yeah, I'm not manifesting it properly for you. Have you checked yourself? <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. Have you checked your subconscious? Have you checked your true dark desires? Because just because you want something consciously doesn't mean that's what your shadow spaces want. And those are the ones to manifest. Watch my um, 13th Element episode, True Secrets of Manifestation. Because something about you, Scorpio, has manifested this. Is it karma that you've decided upon as a soul before you came into this lifetime and being like, these are the, the experiences I need to go through. These are the people, people I want to experience this and that. Maybe is it right now the black box in your subconscious that is just repeating some experience from childhood and you think you're free to make your own decisions and it's just the universe's fault for giving you things that you're not asking for? Or is it exactly what you asked for? Is there something about you inside of you, Scorp, that enjoys this? that gets a kick out of it maybe you get a kick out of partial things because that way you don't need to promise anything and you're actually free to keep pursuing and experiencing and once you do generally truly have something complete and wholesome and final maybe something about you registers it as prison maybe you connect love with being bound maybe the rewiring needs to happen inside because the outer wheels are a metonymy to the inner wheels as above so below as within so without and vice versa and rewire the mechanism into thinking that love is freedom that experiencing someone fully, wholeheartedly, is experience, experiencing yourself fully and wholeheartedly. And that's the true desire of the soul and of the divine for the soul in order for the divine to experience life fully and, full heart and wholeheartedly through you, vicariously from you. And going all in is true freedom because you're not going to find yourself dug in the bottom of the earth buried you're going to find yourself in the center of the earth which is the autonomy to the multiverse do that and love will come in okay guys this was uh this was cool.
tool. Um, if you want an extended, deeper look into the dynamic between you and your person of interest, check out the link below for my Patreon, where you get all the extendeds for all the zodiac signs for unlimited streaming. It goes by the month. We look into your um, your mind and heart space and your person's mind and heart space, the dynamic between the two of you, how everything unfolds. We finish up with runes um, and it's time structured, so it's by the month. So if you wanna check it out, there's also other goodies and yummies like daily rune messages that I post weekly and lunar love readings and karmic shift and liberation, depends on the tier you choose. Fun stuff. I would love to have you join my community of patrons. It's fun there and it helps me out, so do it. <laughs> anyway, check it out. Um, you're so intense. Anyway, okay, love you guys. Stay magic, stay true. Bye-bye, ciao. The Rota of Taro, Orat the Torah of Tor. The Wheel of Life speaks the laws of love. Hello there, beautiful Tarot team. We're getting the existential shift here. You want to undergo a true spiritual quest, a shamanic journey, the path of the heart to discover the bunkai, the secret applications of Tarot. You are so fed up with the superficial books you can find everywhere, with information that you can find everywhere. What about the deep stuff from different cultures, different times in history? What about the other occult systems within it, like astrology, numerology, Kabbalah, Greek mythology? I've put all of it with a 90 pre-recorded classes that I made just for you, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, hour long, within my own private living room with me. Feels like a one-on-one. -on -one. And you get to truly learn tarot. Go to vimeo.com slash on demand slash tarot masterclass or click the direct link below in the description box.